Hey plant lovers, this is Steve coming to you from our plant studio here in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Today we got a challenge. This is the Ficus Aldry and it is about to knock off the fiddle leaf fig from its throne atop the house plant kingdom. Fiddle leaf fig has been the king, it's been the it plant for years, but this plant is getting so popular and it's so much in demand, they're pretty hard to get. Uh, she's beautiful. She's a ficus, um, and we have uh, the Audrey available in two sizes. So this one comes at about five to seven, five and a, five and a half feet in a 14 inch grow pot. Um, the 10 inch, which I don't have here, um, a little bit smaller, three to four feet. Um, so it, uh, it'll fit in a much more tight space. Um, so this plant, uh, it requires a little bit less light than the ficus lorata, so you can move it a little bit further away from the window, but you still want good filtered light to keep this thing growing. Um, watering regimen is a little bit easier. It's a little bit less sensitive to the overwatering or underwatering that you might uh, incur uh, with the fiddle leaf fig. Um, but like any indoor plant, you want to water it, let it dry out, water it, let it dry out, and keep that cycle going because that's what your plant's gonna like. So, like any of our indoor plants, you want to water it thoroughly, let it dry down, water it thoroughly, and let it dry down. The way you know when to water is using the good old soil pro, the soil slip. So this slips into the soil, catches some of the soil down low, because a lot of times you can feel it's dry on top, but down low it might have good soil moisture. And this one actually is pretty moist here, you can see the soil. So this is why you use the soil pro. It looks dry on top but down three, four, or five inches, more than finger deep, it's adequately moist. So we're not gonna water this right now. So you can see the Audrey comes, it's beautiful, uh, deep green leaf. Uh, it's got kind of a sheen on it, and the veins are kind of a little bit um, lighter green. So to keep this nice vein pattern, to keep the, uh, the foliage looking nice and deep green, you wanna make sure your nutrition's right. So we recommend after about six months, you start it on a regular regimen, uh, Foliage Pro, which we also have available on our website, um, just a little bit in the uh, watering can, and that maintains enough nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in the soil to keep it growing, keep it healthy, keep it strong, and keep going. Occasionally, if it's, you got it in the right light, you're watering it well, it's got good nutrition, this gal, this gal is gonna keep growing, and you may need to prune her. So you always want to make sure you're pruning right here at the, uh, at the inner node and taking a little bit of stem off right there and you'll get some new growth right here. So you can see how beautiful these leaves are. Um, and you can see it's already bleeding from this, with the sap. This is actually a banyan tree um, and uh, it'll get big and healthy and uh, we think it's about to knock off the fiddle leaf thing. Um, doesn't have much bug problems. Um, occasional mealy bug, uh, but really we haven't seen any bug problems on these guys. So this gal's beautiful. Aubrey Hepburn will be proud. Beautiful deep green leaves with a nice light green venation. And um, we think it's, uh, it's about to knock off the fiddle leaf fig as the king of the houseplant world. And if you think so, go ahead and grab one off our website. We'll put it in a box, clean it up, and send it straight to your doorstep, wherever you are in the continental United States. We hope you try one out. We're ready to put some green in your scene. Go get them.